Hi, Uncle. Hey, Ephraim, how are you? Have some. Why am I here? You say, please. <sighs> please. Your lifestyle is getting worse every day. Your name is fruitful, but your life is more barren than the desert. Wait, am I here to be insulted? You are here because of the insult you brought on the family. You see, you really need Jesus. He has paid the price for your by his blood on the cross of Calvary. You see, I've been fed with junk like this since I was little, but now I know better. Better? Sir, can you explain the signs of how one man's death can save the whole world? You see, even you are silent. This is not real. Even that blood that was shed, can you find the traces of it now? I never thought of that since I gave my life to Christ. Maybe his blood was still fresh back then. Maybe, but now old man is dry. Look, son, I told you I'm not your son. Sorry, I must have forgotten. Besides, at my age, it is uh, hard and stressful for me to be calling you nephew. You compared your silly good son, nephew, but I'm not your son. The land on which your house stands, what about it? Did your father tell you about it? Yeah, your grandfather. What does that have to do with what you are discussing? You said that the death of Jesus to save the world does not make sense, right? Yeah, so I'm just thinking maybe I should contact the family that sold the land to my grandfather to come and reclaim it. <laughs> when you're not crazy, why would you do that? Why can't I? Because the land belongs to us. Wow. But your grandfather bought it. It just doesn't make sense to me. The money uh, grandfather used to purchase the land. Do you still think uh, they still have it? Even you are silent now. Because the money will have been exhausted before your father was born. But you still live on that land. The price that Jesus paid over 2,000 years ago is still effective. Just like the price for that land is still effective. Give your life to Jesus and you will be a child of God. You will have the hope of eternity and your life will be meaningful. Look at yourself. The devil is ruining your life bit by bit. Give your life to Jesus now. Or do you still think the price he paid is not effective? Please pray for me. I'll give my life. Let me pray with you. Father. He says, come unto me.